Feeling my way through the darkness Guided by a beating heart I can't tell where the journey will end But I know where to start They tell me I'm too young to understand They say I'm caught up in a dream Well life will pass me by if I don't open up my eyes So that's fine by me So wake me up when it's all over When I'm wiser and I'm older All this time I was finding myself in love Last night you were in my room 
Now my bed sheets smell like you Every day discovering something brand new well, I'm in love with your body wow. For a better way to get up out of bed instead of getting on the internet and checking a new hit me get up First shot comes strut walking A little bit of humble, a little bit of cautious Somewhere between like Rocky and Cosby's for the game Nope, nope, y'all can't copy up Glad, moonwalking And this here is our party My posse's been on Broadway And we did it all way Grown music I shed my skin and put my bones into everything I record to it And yeah, I'm on Let that stage light go and shine on down Got that Bob Barker suit game and Plinko in my style Money, stay on my craft and stick around for those pounds But I do that to pass the torch and put on for my town Trust me, on my I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T Shit hustling, chasing dreams since I was 14 oh, With the four oh, 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 Halfway across that city with the black, 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 black Crush it, yeah. they was out here and Now they can't tell me nothing We give that to the people Spread it across the country Labels out here Now they can't tell me nothing We give it to the people Spread it across Why is this a good to be Well, I think um, that the artists are really important And I think that being creative is really good for everyone And also I think that um, we give the wrong factor And um, there's so much fun There's friends and Teams, show, singing, and that's a so yeah. Now, can I kick it? Thank you. Yeah, I'm so damn grateful. I grew up really wanna go fronts, but that's what you get when Wu Tang raised you. Y'all can't stop me. Go hard like I gotta eat away in my heartbeat. And I'm eating at the beat like it gave a little speed to a great white shark on shark. We rock. Time to go off. Oh, Like 
nobody was watching, I got my city right behind me. If I fall, they got me. Learn from that failure, gain humility, and then we keep marching. Here I we said. go back. This is the moment. And what makes this year stand out? Uh, this year is completely different to other years because obviously the COVID had to be shown, but it's been a great opportunity for um, students to actually think in, on their feet and think about things that they would like to have recorded for the year. So like even we were looking at music, um, photos that mattered to you during the year, you know, different things that actually meant something to you right during the year. What makes this year stand out from others? Um, this year stands out because we are now almost in May and we're still working on the show, which actually has proven to be brilliant for me because these kind of vocals take time so I think we'll hear the quality of the performances and um, that was from being here for those kind of you know kind of seven or eight months uh, continuously but also the fact that we got to go into a recording studio and to record it uh, which we've never done before and I think the students had a fantastic experience doing that uh, and I hope everyone really enjoys the sounds that they made. Yeah. Thank you. Summer to my heartbeat sound we fell in love as the leaves turn brown And we could be together, baby As long as skies are blue You act so innocent now Were you disappointed your stage management crew didn't get to put the show on the stage? Um, I was really, I suppose, like, there's no point in kind of you have to be honest about it like there there was a missed opportunity there you know um backstage is kind of where like friendships are formed and you know the the kind of the, you know they spend a lot of time together you know and um even some of them kind of romantic i suppose as well um you know and and now that the stage has moved to um the village you know in broad daylight it kind of the mood is kind of lost there, you know, and the whole romantic side of it. So, you know, we'll have to find other ways of getting on O'Shea a woman, I think. <laughs> um, you know, we'll, have, we'll, we'll think of a few other other things to do there. Um, but yeah, then on the other side of it, like, yeah, on a positive note, like, you're still you're still putting a show on the stage, you know, on the stage that is melancholic, but... Um, um, yeah. uh, you're kind of, you're learning new skills, you're like this whole experience is for ty this year is kind of unique to you it's it's you learn skills that and you have learned skills that um that no other ty group will have ever or will ever again learn you know resilience and um uh, a strength of character and the whole like you know thinking of new ideas and working around things that we can't do and and you've been pretty much like that um all year really you've been you've been doing a lot of the how can we work around this how can we do this in a different way you know So the crew that I would be involved with would be the cast and I suppose the best part about it if you like singing, dancing and acting is that you get to do all three. Uh, so yeah, that, well, everyone's important obviously but these are the ones that are at the forefront um, and you just get to learn so many new skills because I mean when I was even in school I would have been a dancer, not a singer, not an actress but then you get involved in all of it so yeah it's great yeah that way you kind of get everything.
Um, as transition year students, uh, the show provides a huge opportunity to develop those skills that are so important to you as young adults as you uh, go into, into the, the world of work and life. Um, it provides those opportunities to find hidden talents that you never had. Like how many times over the years have people said to me, God, I never knew uh, he had a, a note in his head, or I never knew she was so good at, at, um, at business and at mini company and, and all of that. So um, it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful opportunity uh, to go and develop as, as young uh, adults. The second one I'd say is that it's a huge celebration for the school. Uh, it's a community celebration where the, the, the melancholy people can come in and, and uh, have a lovely night in, in partnership with the school. So it's very much part of the DNA of Kalash to Kalash to and I think also um, of the melancholy community. <laughs> It's over, now you wanna come back So take your hand off my shoulder This time it's not like that Cause I know where your heart's at I know you like to be alone But hey, be lonely When you see me doing well That's when you call me No, I'm doing fine Don't need you in my life I guess you're missing me And I suppose for the students, what skills they would normally learn is, is uh, they'd be working under the woodwork skills if they had already previously done it. Um, if not, that's no problem either. They are, they, they'd easily learn on the job, I suppose, where they can be working with um, working with hand tools or power tools, as well as uh, working drawings and measurements. What makes this year stand out? To me, what makes this year stand out is how resilient the students have been. Um, it's been a very difficult year. We've had time taken away from school. We haven't gotten to complete a full production, but yet our transition year students came back into the school. They just picked up the tools from where we left off and have continued to keep going and have approached everything with a great sense of maturity. And for me as well, continued to carry a good sense of humor. What makes this year stand out? I think this group of UTYs are excellent, they really worked hard all year and it just shows that they didn't let uh, even a pandemic stop the show going Did you enjoy participating in the show? Yeah, we really enjoyed participating in the show because even though we only had a small part, it was um, fun to do stuff other than classwork. Especially with Covid because we didn't have as much things to do. So, how did you deal with the rejection of not getting the part you wanted in the show? No, 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 no. How was your experience doing art this year with Covid? Uh, it was still relatively fun. Uh, there was a few minor setbacks and the lockdown kind of stopped the process a bit. But overall it was fun. How do you feel about not performing on a stage in front of an audience? Uh, well, we first heard that we weren't performing on a stage. We're obviously very disappointed because me and Maeve have been doing shows together for years. So we're super excited to finally get this one together as well. So they told us we weren't doing it on the stage, it was obviously amazing, it was obviously really disappointing. But well, we're very lucky because we get to film it and it's not like anything anyone has ever done in the school before or anything we've ever done, so that's very exciting. All my life I've always been poor, I keep asking God What did you think when the show was postponed in December? I first was very disappointed, but then I thought that it'd be cancelled completely, but now I know it's way ahead. What's it like playing two characters? I uh, like, no, it's no pressure. Like, when you're this good, it's just easy. It's 
Agrina Ushla, it's Misha Kate Vahuna, and along with Avani Gonal, we want to welcome you to our transition year production. It seems fitting to record our opening in this way, in what has certainly been the year of the device. Every year, since 1987, Kloshta and Gwe Kloshta here in Baden College produce a transition year musical. Over 200 students are auditioned and interviewed, depending on their interests, and six different crews are populated after these auditions and interviews. Cast, set design and art, stage management, hair, makeup and costuming, the mini company and construction. Our predecessors have wowed the melancholic public with high quality performances of Les Mis, Hairspray, Miss Saigon, The Fiddler on the Roof, The Adams Family, Me and My Girl, The Pirate Queen and many, many more. The transition year production is an opportunity to obtain and improve skills in theatre production, teamwork and problem solving as well as providing a window through which the wider community can get a glimpse of what we do best here in Kloshta and Gwea Kloshta Cullum. This school has always given two oil to the arts and placed a great emphasis in learning through involvement and activity. We are so incredibly lucky to have a team of teachers who give so much of their free time and a management team who actively support us all. A huge shout out to the teachers. This amazing bunch are supported and cheered on by Manny, but most especially by Ms. Coit Brunach, the deputy principal with responsibility for the senior school. This year, we are all set to get to work on the Little Shop of Horrors. As the most talented group ever to grace the halls of Kloshta and Gwea Kloshta Cullum, we knew that we would be the show that would be most referenced, most talked about. However, that was not to be. Back in September, Miss Hutchinson promised us that we would do what we can, as best we can, for as long as we can. The crews were populated and we all started to work, but with COVID case rising and lockdown introduced, we had to pause. A new year brought new challenges and online rehearsals during lockdown were really difficult. We weren't even certain that we could perform our show at any time. And then this idea was born. Our teachers are nothing if not resourceful. What you're about to watch is the combination of film scenes and recorded audio all tied together by narration. Please note that the full soundtrack consists of the voices of our cast. We also decided to feature our wonderful school and the great village that is Balancholic. We could have not have done any of this without the amazing support of so many people and businesses. We call our version Little Year of Horrors and we even have our own hashtag, hashtag no show. It is, in our humble opinion, a creative and entertaining way for the pandemic year in which we have found ourselves and that although we are not gracing the stage with our tiered seating pulled down, lights on, audience full of trepidation for four nights of high quality entertainment, we are taking our rightful place among all the wonderful groups of TYs who have come before us for the past 34 years. Both Kate and I have watched our siblings tread the boards in our culture limb 
And now they will watch us on film, online. The newly discussed new normal. Bonique soup is sauce of our no show. We hope that you enjoy. On the 21st day of the month of September, in an early year of a decade not too long before our own, the human race suddenly encountered a deadly threat to its very existence. And this terrifying enemy surfaced, as such enemies often do, in the seemingly most innocent and unlikely of places. Sorry, Luke. I thought you were good. No one cares what you think, Senan. I know. Okay, where were we? I think we were talking about that Mushne guy. No, you're going too far ahead. So there's this guy named Seymour. He was simpy, sappy, a total loser. Hey! Don't call Seymour a loser. He was an orphan. A wimpy orphan. But Mr. Mushnik treated him like a slave. He get, got to sleep under the counter and everything. I know, but he didn't treat him half as bad as that greasy boyfriend of Audrey's. Or in the dentist guy, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. He was a total mess. So back to the story. Seymour Mushnick's flower shop is going downhill in more ways than one. Sorry, Grace, can you please remember to say Seymour Crowborn so that everyone understands that later on? Okay? You okay. never told us to say that. Now. You literally never Katie told us. Katie you will go to class. Anyways. Where were we again? Oh, yeah. I guess we were talking about like where the flower shop is, right? Isn't it on the 5th street of the avenue of... No, no, no. Now I remember. 
It was on Skid Row downtown. Luke, you are so dreamy. That shot looks really good, Kate. Stunning. Go away. I was supposed to follow you everywhere. Sorry. Look, God, what an existence I got. Misfit employees, bums on the sidewalk, business is lousy. My life is a living hell. You, urchins, off the stoop. It ain't bad enough I got the winos to permanently decorate the storefront. I need two worthless ragamuffins to complete the picture. Are we bothering nobody? Are we, Crystal? No, we're not, Renette. You ought to be in school. We're on the split shift. We went to school to the fifth grade. Then we split. So how do you intend to better yourselves? Better ourselves? Mister, when you from Skid Row, ain't no such thing. Alarm goes off at seven And you start up sound You put in your eight hours For the powers that have always Child, till it's five p.m. Then you go downtown where the folks are. Feed 
left and anyway I'm far too busy. Feed me. Bird. Yes, Michelle? Bird, whichever you see me can get a bit of meat for this plant here, please. Oh, for God's sake, not again. Okay, Foster, enough. Tommy can see the people and Gordon are gone. Tommy can see it. I know it'll be just our fault. Sorry, Paul. Try again, a shot. That's our QE. And thus we conclude our interview with Seymour Krellborn, the young botanical. Do you mind if I call you a genius? Gosh, no. The genius who's developed a new breed of plant life, hitherto unknown in this planet. The Audrey too. And just one last question, Mr. Crowborn. Do you feed it anything special? Special? Uh, no, it's a secret formula, but it's uh, not hard to come by. I see. Well, uh, thanks for dropping by. And... I'd, I'd just like to remind our listeners um, that the Audrey too is on display exclusively at the Mush Mushnick Skid Row Florist. Thanks. This is Open six days a week, 10 to 6. The address, the address, mention the... Oh, well... Still great advertising. I can't believe it, it couldn't be happening. Pinch me, girls, it couldn't be happening. All of this sudden success coming out of the blue. I put a sign up right in the front window, an advertisement right in the front window. Stop and see the amazing new plant, Audrey, too. Remarkable things that people they do. Seymour, that twerp of a klutz finally did something right. Audrey, too, try some nuts. What a blessing! This wonderful plant should exist and should rake in the bucks for me. Hand over fist. Well, what I do? You was great, Seymour. You sounded sexier than the Wolfman. But you didn't mention the address of the shop. How many times have I told you? Oh, I'm sorry. I was nervous. Hey, where's Audrey? She said she'd be here. Forget about Audrey. I've got three more radio interviews lined up for tomorrow, and the Skid Row Herald Examiner wants a picture. Oh, if I had a mother, she'd be so happy. You're an overnight sensation, Seymour. Who'd have believed it? One day he pushed a broom, knocked in in his new spot, gloom and doom. Then he lit a fuse and gave him room. Stand aside and watch that mother blow.
just cut my hand and in a snap Something out of Edgar Allan Poe has happened Sam Kazap, don't it go to show you never know Suddenly successful guy like Seymour. Mm-mm-mm. This child suffers from a low self-image. You have a point. She have a problem. I know Seymour is the greatest. But I'm dating a semi-sadist. So I got a black eye and my arms in a sling. Still, that Seymour's a cutie. Well, if not, he's got inner beauty. And I dream of a place where we could be together at last. What kind of place is that, honey? An emergency room? Oh, no. It's just a daydream of mine. A little development I dream of. Just off the interstate. Not fancy, like Levytown. Just a little street and a little suburb. Far, far from urban Skidrow. Oh, I dream about it all the time. Just me and the toaster and a sweet little guy. Like Seymour. A matchbox of our own. A fence of a real chain link A grill out on the patio Disposal in the sink A washer and a dryer And an ironing machine In a tract house that we share Somewhere that's green Loves to mow and weed. I'll cook like Betty Crocker, and I'll look like Donna Reed. There's plastic on the furniture to keep it neat and clean in the pine soil. 
this 12 inch screen. I'm his December bride, his father, he knows best. Our kids watch out, duty as the sun sets in the west. A picture out of better homes and gardens magazine. Far from Skid Row. I got it. Are you sure? Yes, I'm Does sure. I'm not supposed to get that pen. No. I, I got everything. To, no, to follow us around the school. You told me to video everything. That's the wrong angle. Did you get me from my I, good side? Yeah, I got you from your good side. You sure? It's fine. Yes. For spiffing up and grooming Cause customers are flocking And business has been booming We need refrigeration in our new improved display So we're close to renovation today Yes indeed, this is the shop you heard about on Channel 5 News Yes, the Audrey 2 is on display exclusively here We're close for decoration Cause fortune has been smiling So now we're due for painting New plumbing and retiling We'll make a ship shape show place of our little shop And then tomorrow we'll be open Again. Aren't you finished yet? I'm trying my hardest, but all these band-aids are making it kinda hard. You've been getting hurt so much lately. I know, it seems like every time I pick up a pruning shears, I slip. We're close to renovation, we're swapping down and brooming. Cause business has been thriving, since Audrey 2 has been blooming. The phone time not stop ringing with the customers who say, Another bunch of peonies, another dozen daisies please. Geraniums and anemones, forget me not and floor delis. Some deliveries All paid in full and CODs We're close for renovation Today You'll think about it Think about it. I don't like that guy, Mr. Mushnick. And you should hear the way he talks to Audrey. God in him will know the kid just said he'd mull it over. No wonder she looks so unhealthy. It's enough to make you sick. If he left me, if Seymour left me, why then I'd be right back where I started, which was broken starving. Sweet and good and beautiful as she is, she deserves a prince, not a sadistic creep like him. Close to bankrupt. What a louse. Beset, befuddled, and bereft. That's what I'd be if Seymour left. He's a disgrace to the dental profession. Seymour! Sir? Seymour. How would you like to be my son? How would you like to be my own adopted boy? I never liked him much before, but count the cash that's in the drawer. I've got no choice, how much you pour? Say yes! What for? Seymour, I want to be your dad. I want to see you climbing up my family tree I used to think you left a stand But now I see that you're a man So I'm proposing be my son Mushnik and son Sounds great Three words with the ring of fate So say you'll incorporate with me A florist dream come true Mushnik and his boy chick you what business will do for FTV? How about it, Seymour, be my son? Just say the word, I'll have my lawyer on the phone. 
Now, Mr. Moshnik, don't be rash. You always said that I was trash. Oh, I was joking. Sir, I'm joking. Excuse the physical expression of my pride of the sweet paternal Mishnikus I've held pent up inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So? Well. Well? I. You? Go ahead and say it, Seymour. Tell me that you will. Gee, I'd really like to, but. I'll hold my breath until. Okay, you win, I'll be your son. Hooray, I win, he'll be my son. Drop the papers that I'm touched, I really am. And someday when you're 83, I'll let you come move in with me. You swear? I promise. What a son! Mushnik and son. That's that. Officially, I'm your brat. Consider the matter closed and done. Now to the world, let's stick. A senior and junior shtick Through thin and through thick Aye. Through sloppy and slick So come kiss me quick Please don't make me sick Moosnick and son Hey! Free I beg your pardon? Free green. Tilly, you talk. You opened your trap, and you said, Feed me, Crowborn! Feed me now! I, I can't. I'm starving! Oh boy, maybe I can squeeze a little bit out of this one, but... I need some food! I know, I know, but I you can't get blood from a... More! More! I don't got any more. What do you want me to do? Slit my wrists? <sighs> Look, how about I walk down to the corner and get you some nice chopped sirloin? Must be blood. Tui, that's disgusting. Must be fresh. Oh, I don't want to hear this. Free me. Does it have to be human? Free me. Does it have to be mine? Free me. Where am I supposed to get it? Free me, see more. Free me all night long. That's right, boy. You can do it. Cause if you feed me see more, I can grow up big and strong. You eat blood, aren't you two? Let's face it. How am I supposed to keep on feeding you? Kill people? I'll make it worth your while. What? You think this is all coincidence, baby? The sudden success around here? Your adoption papers? Look, you're a plant, an inanimate object. Does this look inanimate to you, punk? If I can talk and I can move, Who's to say I can't do anything I want? Like what? Like deliver, pal. Like see you get everything your secret, greasy, hot desires. Would you like a Cadillac car? Uh -oh. Or a guest shot on jackpot? Uh -oh. How about a date with head in a mile? You're gonna get it? Thanks to kind of offer, but... How do you like to be a big wheel? Uh -oh. Dining out for every meal. Uh -oh. I'm the plan who can make it all real. You're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. I'm your genie. I'm your friend. I'm your willing slave. Take a chance. Just feed me. Hey, you know the kind of eats the kind of red hot treats, the kind of sticky leaky sweets I crave. Come on, Seymour, don't be a putz. Trust me, and your life will surely rival King Tut's. Show a little initiative and work up the gut, and you'll get it. I don't. Nothing to you but me. Come on, kid, what will it be? Money? Girls. One particular girl. How about that Audrey? Think it over. 
there must be someone you can 86 real quiet like and get me some lunch. I was about a room of the Ritz, wrapped in velvet covered in kit. A little looky gonna clean up your seats and you'll get it. Get it, get it. Gee, I'd like a Harley machine. How you're cruising around like I was cheating. Yeah, 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 yeah. Making all the guys on the corner turn green. Justify. Take a breath, then look around. A lot of folks deserve to die. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's not a very nice thing to say. But it's true, isn't it? No, I don't know anyone who deserves to get chopped up and fed to a hungry plant. Mm, sure you do. Stupid woman, Christ, what a freaking scatterbrain. I'm sorry, Doctor, I'm sorry, Doctor. Now get the hell in there and get your goddamn sweater, you dizzy cow. Yes, Doctor, right away, Doctor. Hey, Seymour, I left my sweater here before. Come on, move it, you little slut. God, how do you like that stupid dame? Forget her freaking sweater. God, if your stupid head weren't screwed on. Or in that hurt. Move it. On a rationale, it isn't very hard to see. Stop and think it over, pal. The guy sure looks like plant food to me. The guy sure looks like plant food to me. The guy sure looks like plant food to me. He's so nasty, treating her up. He's backing around, always talking so tough. You need blood, and he's got more than enough. I need blood, he's got more than enough. I need blood, he's got more than enough. Go get it! Hold on, let me switch the camera. Oh, your hair's looking a little long. So, tell me about this dentist guy. I'd rather see more than that guy. Because when he was younger, just a bad little kid, his mama noticed the weird things he did. Like shooting puppies with a BB gun? And poisoning guppies. And when he was done, he would find a cat and bash its head in. Why are you ramming, Crystal? So you're saying he has a talent for causing things pain? Yup. Things meaning Audrey? Mm-hmm. He gets up on the pain she inflicts. So in other words, he's a psychopath. Mm-hmm. Who does he think he is beating around Audrey like that? He makes her call a doctor. All these characters seem a little off to me. I guess that's me, Dr. Scrivello. Do you have an appointment? Uh, we spoke yesterday. Seymour Crowborn? Oh, yeah. The guy with the plant. Right. And the band-aids. Right. And the gun. Right. So why are you pointing a gun at me, Seymour? I... I... Are you a little scared of seeing the dentist? No. I'm not nervous. I just... It'll only hurt a little. No, you don't understand. I, I don't want my teeth examined. Of course you want your teeth examined. Say, ah. Uh... No. Say, ah. Uh... Ah! Uh... Oh, your mouth is a mess. <laughs> your cavities, you got plaque. You're impacted. Your abscess. Oh, yeah? You need a complete oral examination. We'll start with that wisdom tooth. No! We'll just rip the little bugger out of there. What do you say? I, I gotta go. There's always time for dental hygiene, Seymour. Have you ever seen the results of a neglected mouth? Look, Seymour. This could happen to you. It could? Unless I take immediate action. Let's get started. Wait, aren't you gonna give me some Novocaine? What for? It tells the senses. But it'll hurt. Only till you pass out. What's that? That's the drill, Seymour. Uh, but it, it's rusty. It's an antique. They don't make instruments like this anymore. Sturdy. Heavy. Dull. This is going to be a challenge. This is going to be a pleasure. 
I'm gonna want some gas for this one. Gas? Nitrous oxide. Oh, thank God. I thought you weren't gonna give me anything. <laughs> oh, no, Seymour. The gas isn't for you. It's for me. See, I really want to enjoy this. And I find that a little gig of gas before we begin increases my pleasure enormously. In fact, I think I'm gonna use my special gas mask. Just relax, Seymour. I'll be with you in a moment. Now, do it now. While he's gassing himself to a palpable stupor, the timing's ideal and the moment is super too ready and fire and blow the sick bastard away. <laughs> now, do it now. Just a flicker of pressure right here on the trigger and Audrey won't have to put up with that pig for another day. Now, for the girl. Now, for the plant. Now, yes I will. Happy, happy dope. It's just a gas. It got me high. But don't let that fact deceive you. Any moment I could die. Though I giggle and I chortle, bear in mind I'm not immortal. Why this whole thing strikes me funny, I don't know. Cause it really is a rotten way to go. Here is an ethical dilemma Let's go and get the master of details and have a prayer True, the gun was never fired But the way it gets fired I can finish him with civil as a fair What we have here is a tricky moral problem Do I help him get the master of the world back a fair? Couldn't treat him when I tried But the fates are on my side I can off the guy by staying in the chair Don't be fooled if I should chuckle Like hyenas in a zoo It's just a guess <laughs> It turns me on But don't let my mirth deceive you Any moment I'll be gone All my vital signs are failing Cause the oxide I'm inhaling Makes it difficult as hell to catch my breath Are you dumb? Or hard of hearing? Or relieved? My end is nearing are you satisfied? I've left myself. <laughs> Dead? So it's the end of Act One, and a lot of things have changed. Business is booming in Mushnik and Son's flower shop. Well, because of the plant. Do you want to show them? Let's show them, let's show them. I miss the Mushnik. What the hell are you doing in there? Get the hell out! It was so busy at one point, we had to work here. Wait, when was this? You were sleeping on it. Hey, you know what I do remember though? Seeing when I drink snow and up together. Ooh. It was so hilarious. He was wearing a leather jacket to impress her. Speaking of leather jackets, is she still down in the dumps over that guy? Oren? Down the dumps? She was over the moon. Wasn't she guilty though? For thinking she killed him? No way, she shouldn't have felt that way. She deserves a nice guy, someone who respects her. Seymour.
what a day, what a day. Simu, do you mind mucking up for me? I'm all in. Uh, one minute, Audrey. I wanted to show you something. Can't wait till tomorrow? It won't take a minute. I've been shopping for my new wardrobe, like you told me to, and... Ta-da! What do you think? No. You don't like it? I... I don't know. I... I'll take it off. I'll take a bath. I'll burn it. Just don't cry. Please. Oh, look what I did. I only ever bought it to impress you. That's... that's all I ever meant to do. I... I don't know what's come over me. I guess I've been... a little under the weather lately. It's Orin, isn't it? You've been down in the dumps ever since his... mysterious disappearance. You miss him, don't you? Miss him? I never felt so relieved as when they told me he'd vanished. It was like a miracle. Not to mention all the money I saved on Epsom salts and Nace bandages. Then what's the matter? I feel guilty, I guess. I don't know. If he met with foul play or some terrible accident of some kind, then it's partly my fault, you see, because secretly, I wished it. Audrey, you'd have to waste one more minute worrying about that creep. I know a lot of guys who would give anything to go out with you. Nice guys. I don't deserve a nice guy, Seymour. Well, that's not true. You don't know the half of it. I've led a terrible life. Uh, Audrey, don't. I deserved a creep like Oris Scrivello. DDS. You know where I met him? In the gutter. The gutter? The gutter. It's a nightclub. I worked there on my nights off when we weren't making much money. I put on cheap and tasteless outfits. Not nice ones, like this. Low, nasty apparel and I... Audrey, that's all behind you now. You've nothing to be ashamed of. You're a, a very nice person, and I always knew you were. Underneath the bruises and the handcuffs, you know what I saw? A girl I respected. I still do. Lift up your head, wash off your mascara. Here, take my Kleenex, wipe that lipstick away. COVID. Show me your face, clean as the morning. I know things were bad, now they're okay. Suddenly, Seymour is standing beside you. You don't need no makeup. To pretend Suddenly Seymour Is here to provide you With sweet understanding Seymour's your friend Nobody ever treated me kindly Daddy left early Mama was poor I'd meet a man and I'd follow him blindly He'd snap his fingers, me, I'd say shut The bad times are clean washed away Please understand that it's so strange and frightening For losers like I've been It's so hard to say Suddenly Seymour Suddenly Seymour He purified me He purified you
Okay. Are we rolling? Yep. We need to get this done really, really fast, because Marshall Gallagher is going to be here soon. So, y'all remember the way Seymour killed the dentist guy, right? By, like, not helping him stay alive? Well, Mushnick found out. And, if you want to get rid of something in a hurry, best not dispose of it in Skid Row. Get to the point, Renat. Basically, Mushnick did. Seymour fed him to the plane because he didn't want to get caught. He told him there was money in there. Even you're not that stupid. You're the dumb one for being obsessed with him after all his fame. Seymour was an overnight sensation. His name in lights, his face on screen. He might have been all that, but he made a deal with the devil, and he knew it. Not everyone can handle fame like us. Mm -mm -mm. So, Gallagher kicked us out for some reason. And, um, run out, get off your phone. Now my fault I'm popular. Um, okay. Anyway. So back to the plants. He can talk now. He got a big appetite. And blood ain't good enough no more. He needed bodies. And Audrey's gonna find out soon enough. Are we at the Audrey part now? Yes, we are. Aw, I love that part. I know you do. Audrey snuck over the shop, saw the plant talking, realized it was way too late to get out, and she got eaten. She died on the spot? No! Then Seymour came. But it was way too late. He held her in his arms while she told him to feed her to the plants. Oh, so romantic. But why feed it to the plant? Have you not been listening? To make it grow, of course. This is a weird ass ending. I know it is.
such a difficult time. It really is a once in a lifetime opportunity to be able to record in a real life recording studio. You know, not just the cast, everything's amazing. I mean, that plant is amazing. Good, Good luck! Tell me now! Chicago 2019. We really admire all that you've achieved during this uncertain time. You've really shown us what Transition Year is all about and we can't wait to see the final product. No doubt it'll be amazing. Every year has its twists and turns but yours just fit with an uphill battle. Enjoy every minute of it as it only goes downhill from here. I mean look at us trying to find every reason to get out of class and relive the year that never ended. This is us passing the torch on to you as you'll pass on the torch next year. Best of luck and all! Daltin Hiderflina, Gavi Lesafe Hain, or Las Alam Dum, Agis, Vias Portox, a show of Visha, Savlian Gavila is a Karajerk, Ismas Queen Lumbe Portox, a show Shin, Agis Kegrev Shay Dushlanok, Dungaler, Gakor de Herlekela, Bay on show Book Fuint Sam Hailer, Scully Glosh, the column, um, to Austin Downer, McCluster, Irig Liv, Imlina, Little Shop of Horrors, a Herlekela, in a known Covid, Agis, the Kunstaki Galer, Honig, Savlakerv, um, Ismore and Trua, Nakrev. Deshagwiv, um, Shasa Blakeler and Stotch as a whole toilet, Ach Tosulagum, Gravinch of Tana Vasan, Grakagason, Godriv, Agenta Kayla. Um, and I know it might feel like getting up on stage and performing in front of everyone is what it's all about, but it's actually the friends that you make, the laughs you have, and the occasional breakdowns along the way that really do make the experience so special. So, um, Tom Sherald today, can I roig live, Fishon and Scott, Kayla Kayla, um, a vet mark with Dyer, Hillian Tennescola, rowing a mark. Well done. Do you eat? It's Mr. Donald Sullivan, Dan Elliott Bader, my small of McKeola Clushant. Gavi is a hand egg, the sweet charity I never going, August Fame Maron, Pre of Buko Oscar. Um, look, I know it's a complete kick in the teeth not getting to do the show that you hadn't envisaged yourselves doing. I'm a musician, I've been unemployed for a year, so I feel your pain. But from everything Belinda's told me, Little Shop of Horrors is going to be spectacular and will absolutely take its place in the lineage of great large column shows. Um, I loved our show. I loved Sweet Charity. I loved performing it. I loved singing on stage. But the most crack that we had, and I guarantee you, if you ask any cast member from any year, they will tell you, the most crack that we had was putting the show together, was rehearsing, was auditioning and realising that guy can sing and she can dance and I didn't know any of my friends could do any of this stuff and you all still get to have that. So enjoy it and cherish it and be very, very proud of the production you're putting together in incredibly difficult circumstances. The show must go on. Uh, can I relive and I look forward very much to seeing what you put together. Congratulations to the cast and crew of Little Shop of Horrors in Colosta, Great Colosta Cullum. Well done, I've heard that you've had to adapt your show. So well done on your creativity and your perseverance and in keeping up with the musical tradition of the school. So well done on that front. I remember years ago I did the Hot Mikado, which is a long, long time ago. And I know the dedication and the amazing team of teachers that you have behind you. So enjoy it all, enjoy the experience. And I'm sure it's not the end we've heard of the TY class of 20. 2021. So well done, Mashiv August Lawn, Bhutanabas. Hi, TYs 2021. Um, my name is Ashling, and I was in the Hot Mikado 13 years ago now, which feels like yesterday, but it was a very long time ago, I'm sure, in your eyes. Just wanted to say congratulations on all the hard work that's gone into Little Shop of Horrors this year. I know that you've been doing amazing work. Um, I've seen firsthand because of a sibling of mine that's in the show, uh, how much hard work has gone into it, despite the fact that you can't do it live. You're keeping on an amazing legacy of shows over the years in Clash Column, and you should be so, so proud of what you've achieved. Um, best of luck with the premiere. And um, I'm sure everybody in your school, in Balling College, in Cork, and maybe further afield are looking forward to watching it. Thanks very much. The Eve is Michelle Callahan, August Lock my parts a whole drama Flash Dance, a Govi list of three dead. Taking part in Flash Dance was by far and away my most memorable experience from transitioning to Lost Column. And you were all so lucky that you all got to experience putting on your own transition year musical this year, which is something I don't think any school in the entire country has been able to do so well this year. 
you still even got to experience all the best parts, like all the laughs and rehearsals, the getting out of class, the making new friends in the year, and of course, working with such a talented team, which in my day also consisted of Miss Hutchinson, Sarah Moriarty and Ronan Hulin. Your work over the past year has just been absolutely phenomenal and your hard work and dedication will stand to you for the rest of your lives. I have no doubt that Little Shop of Horrors will go down in history as the most memorable musical Colossal Cullum has ever put on and there is so much credit due to you all. So Bwinnagy Thanov, Osborne Gupla Law, Tofokas and Interflian, August Tomic Tanu Gamor Leshen Vision. Snan. Hi guys. Um as some of you know, I am a past pupil of the Grail Klosha. And back in 2005, which I know some of you were, were born in around that year, um, I was part of Figure on the Roof. Um, and since then, I have not left. So I've done 15 shows with them, um, Miss Hutchinson, since then. And the buzz of TY is just amazing, which is why I keep coming back to do it. But I know this wasn't the year that you were expecting. Um, before Christmas, you probably thought, God, we're not going to get a show and all that. But you did. And you definitely still got the same buzz that every other year has gotten. Honestly, you have. And when you get to watch the DVD and all that, you'll, um, it'll all be worth it. You also got an opportunity that no one else has ever gotten. Um, the uh, recording vocals and the filming and all that. So I'm so glad that I could be part of it. Um, and I love you loads. And I'm very, very proud of you. Um, yeah, you're a talented bunch. Well done, guys. Hi guys, Grainne Cholanita, your Scalora on Gwea In 2015, I played Morticia Adams in the Colossa Gwea Colossa Cullen production of The Adams Family. I've heard brilliant things about Little Shop of Horrors. I've heard that you're a really hardworking and talented bunch. And I know it's a pity that you won't get to perform the show in the way that you would have liked. But I just want to commend you hugely on all the hard work that you've put in. And I hope that you had a blast working on the show during the year regardless. I absolutely can't wait to see what you've done with it, guys. So, whole world of us is massive. Hi, guys. Alana Nicole and Shaw. I glad my part is Sister Axe of Lean Gobilus of Shaktiuk and Shaw. A Clash de Grey, Clash de Column, Marol Dolores. Um, I've heard that you're doing absolutely amazing things with Little Shop of Horrors this year and that the talent is just oozing out of every single one of you. So, Co Gordigas Olvor. Uh, live. Um, it's so great that you're doing film scenes as well to really really bring the show to life on screen and it's just so incredible and you've risen to such a challenge putting on such an amazing show in the middle of a pandemic so well well done for that and it'll definitely go down in the history books of Colossia Grey, Colossia Column so you should be so so proud of yourselves um, Agus just co gord agus olvor live a reach agus kihig me shiv er on on more Slan. Hello everyone, Brian Murray here from West Side Story in 2012, where I played the part of Tony. Um, I wanted to wish you all an amazing show of Little Shop of Horrors. I've been hearing all about it and I cannot wait to watch and see every single one of you shining. Um, it's such an amazing experience that you're not going to miss a TY musical. I was worried for a while that I thought you weren't going to do it, but I'm so glad that everyone has pulled together and to make this happen for you guys. It's going to be epic, iconic, and you'll always have this professional recording of you forever and ever. And in years to come, you look back and you'll see the quality. I only have terrible little um, video phone recordings of mine, and I wish I had something as good as what you guys will have. So best of luck with it. And I hope to see you all before the year is out and really proud of you all. My name is Marin. Um, I was part of the TY group of 2010, which feels like 100 years ago. It actually feels like yesterday, but it is 100 years ago, which is crazy. Um, <laughs> I played Tracy Turnblad uh, when we did Hairspray um, in our TY. Um, but Miss Hutchinson has told me of the incredible job that you guys are doing of keeping creative and keeping motivated in a year that is just trying to just pull things to a halt. Um, I know you've been working on the Little Shop of Horrors um, since September. And while I know there probably is a little bit of a disappointment that you may not get to have that kind of 
final show um i just wanted you all to like rest assured that you're going to be so thankful to come away from a year like this with a physical recording um of something even moving forward just to have that will just be so precious and valuable and in my experience of be it like shows or or filming stuff it's the creative process is what really makes an experience so the friends you'll have made um the things you'll have learned in doing it and just being able to be creative with with your friends and with your teachers is something like genuinely when i look back on that it's it's the days when you're rehearsing until nine o'clock at night or or you're exhausted some day and something funny happens like they're the they're the times you're going to remember but um i absolutely cannot wait to see little shop of horrors um Miss Hutchinson has been telling me that you've all been doing an incredible job and i've absolutely no doubt that that is the case um i just want to to congratulate you all for bridging the gap um in a year that could have left a hole in the kind of creative legacy of Colossal Cullum and you guys have just risen to the challenge and if anything you've just created a legacy of your own and just been incredibly like unique and um just adaptable and I think that's such a, a testament to you and that's what you remember as well I think um especially I'm working in the arts industry myself and to see an industry that is suffering so badly um yet to have you guys just capitalize and just keep going and just absolutely smash it is so so incredible to see and and it really just warms my heart because i look back on my ty with such fond memories and i would want nothing more than for you guys to do the same and i think you genuinely genuinely will um but yeah, I just wanted to wish you all the luck and to all the Muntori, you're all absolutely incredible. Um, I can't imagine the obstacles you've faced during the year and to just rise and stay positive and just say we're going to get this done is just incredible. So, good night, Rintal, live, Um, I can't wait to see it and take care. Bye.